Hello everyone and welcome to Myra's short video series. In this video, we will be talking about result interpretation for moving load. So before we go into results, let's understand what are the kind of load combinations and the load cases we have defined for the moving load. So for that, I'll go under the load part and here under the moving load, you can see the moving load case. And I'm having two cases, moving load case one and two. So if I go under the first part, you can see that I've defined the HL93 tandem loading for this and we are having minimum number of loaded lane as one and maximum as two. I've defined two lanes, hence the maximum number of loaded lane as two and again we have selected both the lanes here. So the program will actually create all the combination between the minimum and maximum number of loaded lane that are loaded simultaneously. So once that is done, I click on OK and we are having two cases. So for the second case, we are having HL93 truck loading and again similarly minimum number of loaded lane as 1 and maximum number of loaded lane as 2. So when we get and check the results, so program will provide us the critical combinations that is causing the maximum moment and maximum forces for our elements. So now let's check the results for it. I am first checking the bending moment diagram. So for MV max MLC1, I am checking MY and I click on apply. So here using this legend, you can see the maximum and minimum bend moment we are having. So maximum is 741 and we are getting this on the element number 370. So if I select element 370 from here, this is the element number 370 and we can just activate the element number so that you get to know. And for the minimum if I check. element number 241 the PS cap and suppose I want to check only for my girders so I will select steel girder and I will activate them so here I will get the reactions and the forces only for my girder in this manner Similarly for MLC2, I check the maximum bending moment and this is 846. So it is more than the MV max MLC1 which was 741. So obviously this is the second load case that is causing the maximum moment on the element number 346. So here is the element number 346. Now suppose you want to check the positioning of the vehicle that is causing this maximum moment. So for that we are having this moving tracer. I will just go under the moving tracer and select beam forces. And here I will write this element number that is 346 and click on apply. So you can see like based upon the influence line diagram for each element we have the critical positioning like this. So you can see this here the positioning of the vehicle with the axle loading and this is the influence line for the element number 346 resulting into the maximum moment. Well, if you want to check the deformation, I go under the displacement contour and click on apply. Under the DZ, you can see in the unit is directly from here. From here you can see the maximum deformation that we are getting for the DZ. In case you want to check the forces in the tabular form, so here we go under the beam forces result device. I click on beam forces. You can select the load case that you want to check. I click on OK. So here we get all the result in the tabular form and this is Excel friendly. We can just copy and use this in the excel file. So I hope this video was helpful for you. See you in the next.